uh, McCleary, Washington at uh, Grays Harbor and it's been a gnarly track. It's something I've never really experienced before riding in the tight trees and the dirt and we got some rain and uh, it's just brutal, honestly. You're dealing with rocks and roots and trying to freaking dodge tree branches that are hanging over the track so uh, it's, it's crazy. It's been fun becoming a slammer. It's been a good time. Mark's given me a few calls throughout the years, kind of turned him down multiple times and just uh, was doing my own thing and, and then just decided that I wanted to give it a shot. A couple of months and yeah, I ended up at his, his headquarters there in Yucca Valley and haven't left since. So this weekend I got Jackson coming to the race with me. He's quite the handful, that's for sure. It's been a good time having him here and just thinking about him and how I can, you know, better my life to uh, support him. It's the ultimate goal. So since uh, coming to works, it's really shown me I got a lot to learn. Just being comfortable with it, really. Because all these guys are doing it, so it's like I just need to sack up. all the way up here in Washington and really feels like a true works race again. Having to travel for you know a day and a half just to get here and uh, you know dealing with things like weather and mud and a true course as, as well. I'm proud to be back, totally proud to be back. I'm really stoked to be here and uh, think that the series could possibly reach potentially new heights. You know, even though I'm working so hard right now, it is a very special time in life because, yeah, the bike that I'm racing here this weekend is the bike that the bike that I built, you know, from the ground up. I got no choice but to keep pushing. I've literally found a new level, a new depth with inside of me of how hard I can push, honestly. Anytime you can just have a good flow where you, you don't use all your energy and you can ride to your potential, is, it's a really good feeling. Yeah, I think slam life, I should probably incorporate that into my riding a little more, just slam stuff harder. <laughs> I need to start slamming. go out as a loser to quit. Like, that's not me, man. I'd rather twist the throttle until, hey, if something happens, unfortunately, maybe that could happen. It's an extremely dangerous sport. 
that's, that's the slam life, man. I'm, I'm gonna be slamming hard for the next 10 years, I think. It may be even longer, like, like who knows? Hey, thanks everyone for tuning in to Slam Life uh, Adventures Episode 4. We'll see you for Episode 5, Down South in Baja.